Hi, welcome to all about mechanical engineering. Today, we'll have another question on projection of lines in which one end of the line is in second quadrant, whereas the other end of the line is in fourth quadrant. In order to understand it better, let's take an example. The line CD is 100 mm long, makes 30 degrees with HP and 45 degrees with VP. The end C is 30 mm below HP and 10 mm in front of VP. Whereas the other end is in second quadrant. Draw the projections of the line, find front view and top view lengths along with their inclinations. Let us extract the given data first. Given line CD, two length, 100 mm. Theta 30 degrees, 5, 45 degrees. P is 30 mm below HP and 10 mm in front of VP, which puts C in fourth quadrant, whereas D is in second quadrant. To find front view length, top view length, alpha, and beta. Let us put this given data on our normal solution in order to understand how to proceed. So this front view point will be below x, y now because c is given in fourth quadrant. According to fourth quadrant, both front view and top view should be below x, y line. Whereas d is in second quadrant, according to which front view and top view both should be above x, y line. So you have to keep this top view point below x, y as stated here in this solution. The only change is you have to take the phi angle upwards so the top view locus of other end of the line will be above xy. Let us draw the actual solution. xy line with a vertical projector, 30 mm below xy line, the front view point c dash, 10 mm below xy line, the top view point c. With theta as 30 degrees, Drawing a line that is the true length and phi equals to 45 degree drawing another line. Both should be upwards because we need both front view and top view locus of D above XY. Now taking 100 mm in your compass, keeping on C dash here, drawing an arc. Similarly, keeping compass on C with 100 mm as radius, drawing another arc. Creating the locus. Locus of D in front view with corresponding name D1 dash. Locus of D in top view with corresponding name D2. Now, projecting D1 dash up to opposite points, opposite view, that is up to C here. And the corresponding name is D1. Keeping compass on C and radius as C, D1 in your compass. Drawing an arc until it meets the locus of D in. Top view. Corresponding name will be D. Similarly, projecting D2 up to opposite points, opposite view, so to C dash. Taking this point D2 dash, keeping compass on C dash and radius C dash D2 dash in your compass and drawing an arc until it meets locus of D in front view. Corresponding name D dash. Joining C dash D dash obtaining the front view. Joining C D obtaining the top view. This is the required solution. If you follow the steps, then the answers will be front view length 71 mm, top view length 87 mm, alpha will be 55 degrees, beta will be 45 degrees. Hope you have enjoyed the video. See you again with another video.